Hi, happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. I hope you've had a wonderful day so far. And I do hope that you've reached out to your mother and wished her a happy Mother's Day, as well as Mother Earth to send her down your love, okay? And if you're a mother, I hope you had the most beautiful day of all. All right, let's go ahead and get to our weekly reading. This will be for the week of May 15th through the 21st. We'll take a look at the current energies our challenges and our actions, and welcome. My name is Lori, I'm also known as Sign Moon. We're gonna go ahead and use Tarot of the Spirit World today. It does not do reversals and it looks more at our addictions, compulsions, obsessions, things like that, our fears. So let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look. I think they're just about ready. It's been a glorious day. Had another random phone call from my granddaughter. Well, you know, maybe it's her parents calling, but there's nobody on the other end, and all I end up with is, Hi, Grandma! Mm, I'm gonna love it because it's a glorious thing. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, it's been a beautiful week. I am liking this. I don't know why that's in our challenges, but we'll see. Love. Finding the perfect partner, believing that this universe is up there working for our greater good when it comes to our true partnership, friendship, and love. The overall energy for the reading is the Nine of Chalices, doing our work and continuing very content with who we are, loving what we're doing, and very happy with our life. That's beautiful energy for the overall reading. And in the future, Oh, look, it's another tower moment. We really need to get past these tower moments being so significant in our lives, guys. Tower moments happen all the time. All we need to do is keep letting go of the old and allow the new in. Accept offer from spirit. We know sometimes it can be very hard, but you're forgetting. Sometimes. The teacher becomes the student, the student becomes the teacher, and we need to accept this offer from spirit. We need to allow spirit to show us what's waiting for us. Sure, it can be scary, and it can be shy, you know, like, scary as fuck, frightening. But you know what? Raise your head above the illusions. Raise a model up and look to the sun. And look at the blessings that are truly coming into your life. Let go of your fears and remember what I tell you it is. False evidence appearing real fear. It's all it is. False evidence appearing real. Raise your head from the illusions and allow the blessings to come down. And just continue to stand in your passion with who you are. To speak what horrors you most deep within your life. Of course there are horrors within your life. Things that scare the fuck right out of you. Talk about them. Speak your truth. Be willing to sacrifice yourself. The things that you've been through. Sacrifice your fucking fear. Sacrifice your fear. Sacrifice it all and speak and tell the truth of who you are deep down inside. Accept the offer from spirit. They know that you're tired, but quit worrying about being fucking judged. The only one that matters is you. How do you feel about how you're living? Your life sucked? That shit hurt when you got hurt? It beat you down to your core? Well, fucking stand up and talk about it. Speak your truth. Be unapologetically you. Speak your truth. Come out of hermit mode. Set your light down and illuminate your path. Please illuminate your path. Speak of the things you've learned. Speak of the wisdom deep down within your soul that you've fought through in order to get to where you are, to be the shining example for others that you are. All the demons that you've fought in the prisons of your mind, let go of them, speak of them, 
Quit looking at what you've lost and look to the future. Turn around and share the stories of your heart and soul and allow the blessings to come down into your life. Step into who you are and become the true magician of your soul. Please step into who you are. Connect with the little one inside and step into true empress mode. I told you, when you embrace the little one inside, your angelic being of light, when you fully embrace who you are, you can truly become unapologetically you and live vulnerably and tell your story knowing that it's finally going to help somebody out of their prison. And every person that we help to shine from afar and raise their heads from their sleep and shine beyond the prison walls of their mind. It's a good day. It's a great day. And we can stay in Empress mode and shine our light. But what the fuck good is Empress mode if you never share your story? If you know how you've learned to shine and you've learned how to stand up against the tyranny in your own life, the spiritual programming, religious programming, the bullshit. If you know how you've overcome the heartaches from being beat your entire life, the heartaches from never having enough to eat or a place to sleep, if you don't share those stories, how the fuck is anybody going to get the courage to stand up? Get over yourself. Become the magician of your soul. Tap into your little one inside and scare that sh share that scary shit impart your wisdom onto others that have been along your path all right yep i know we sure do get on a soapbox sometimes don't we but i truly believe it we need to be the magic makers we need to be the rhythm makers to share our story from our heart to allow it to hurt who cares if you cry? Cry. Let people see it and know that those tears, they're for you. They're for your little angelic being of light inside. The little one who holds all the secrets to time in the universe. The ones that we should always be tapping into and asking for directions and to our community. It is the name of wands to remember to ask for directions. If you don't know your way and you're looking inside and you're tapping in and you're still confused, reach out to someone you know. Reach out to me. Reach out to your community. Reach out to someone and find your way. The Queen of Swords, standing in our truth, knowing who we are. True integrity, full integrity of the child of the divine that we know that we are. But please understand, share who you are. You don't need to worry about people coming in to take what's yours. All that you've amassed is yours. And as you share it, more will come into you. You don't need to worry about that at all. All right, our challenges are starting to make a little bit more sense now that the messages are coming through. It is the lovers. You know, and the lovers doesn't have to mean another person. Lovers can be the object of your affection, whether it is yourself, your little one, your career, your business, Mother Earth, whatever it is, for the thing that you love the most truly does become your lover. It does, for you give it all your attention. What is that one, um, the core? Have you ever seen the core? There is a movie, there is a phrase the toxa, it's a guy, he's a, I don't know, he's some kind of scientist, I don't know, but, you know, he's talking with his friend, and he says, you know, how's that lovely wife of yours, and the dude's like, oh, she's great, you've been married a long time, and what it is, he says, yeah, my wife's my mistress, I'm married to my work, because your true love is the one that you are married to, and God willing, you're married to the one thing that you love to do most to share your heart and soul. Now, I'm not saying that your work should come apart, come above your lover, it should not. What I'm saying is, 
is sometimes you need to let things go in order to understand, to be ready for love, that warmth and kindness within your life. You need to delve into who you are and allow the universe to show you the true passion and desires that resides within your heart. And that can be hard, for we fear that we're giving up love when really we're establishing a connection to our little one that provides all the love we will ever need. And that is a challenge. To remember that we are a child of the divine, for we feel that we have so much wisdom when we think of all that we've been through. And I understand it can be a challenge to understand that we're just children of the divine. We have a long way to go on this never ending journey and to allow ourselves to continue to be taught. I don't know why this is a challenge, except for the fact that you're living in fear. You're living behind the prison bars of your mind. Let go of that fear. Let go of that false evidence appearing real. Please let go of it. Please speak your truth. Nobody's going to be like, whoa, what the fuck? You did that? Oh my God, you've been through that. Get the fuck away from me. They're not going to do that. They're going to be like, holy shit. You went through all of that and you're still standing? Hell fucking yeah. How'd you do it? Explain it to me. Unapologetically you and remain vulnerable to the collective. Tell your story. What we share to the collective matters. And when we start giving things that aren't us, it's like bearing false witness, if you will. And we're not going to do that. We can't tell somebody else's story. We can only be authentically us and tell our own story. Telling a story that isn't our own is like bearing false witness. Because how do we fucking know? We need to tell our stories. Dig down deep into that scary shit. Into that beautiful stuff. And let your light shine already. Please. Just start speaking it. Reach out to me. I know it's scary, but do it anyway. Our actions. The high priestess. Looking to the earth. To the moon and to the stars. To our angelic being of light. To the little one who lives inside of us. Tap in. By the way, I do have a new issue of my newsletter. I'll put a descript I'll put a link down in the description. I hope you'll check it out this week. It's talking about our subconscious mind and the roles that it plays. I know and the little one inside of us and the role that it plays within our subconscious mind as we continue to heal. Give it a read. I hope you'll like it. I haven't put it out yet, but I should have it out by tomorrow. The high priestess looking to the earth, moon, and stars for who we are to continue to look to nature, to Mother Earth and Father Sky, to teach us the ways that will guide us forward, to tap into the little one, the Seven of Pentacles, watching ourselves go along as a child of the divine, knowing who we are, watching ourselves go forward as a child of the divine is a great action. The Four of Wands, speaking who we are and celebrating who we are celebrating that we've learned to connect to the ethereal realm to the astral realm to that collective consciousness we've learned to weigh the pros and cons and we have wrestled with our demons so we know when the light is coming to us we know when the angels are sending their messages to us well they absolutely do when we tap into the little ones if you'd like to learn about tapping into your little one and the angels, guides, and spirits through tarot and oracle cards, reach out to me. I have a class starting soon. It was supposed to start mid-May, but I've had to push it to mid-June due to some other obligations that I have that are cutting in, and I wish to give it my full attention, and we're going to have a lot of fun, so I've pushed the start date out by a month. 
My apologies to anybody who's looking forward to getting it started next week. I do apologize, but it does mean that I'm also going to extend it out for one more week for half off the current price. All right, enough of that bullshit. Let's go ahead and get to our reading, shall we? Let's get some clarification on the Four of Wands, this future, staying connected to spirit, allowing those tower moments to come. We are going to go ahead and use... The Wild Unknown. Did I get it right? The Wild Unknown Tarot. That's what we're using today. Let's go ahead and take a look at our actions and our challenges to see why we're having such a hard time letting go of something to follow the true heart's desire, our true heart, to know that we truly are a child of the divine. Though when we look at ourselves, sometimes we can see all that we've been through and we think we know all the answers. It's time to realize the teacher becomes the student and the student becomes the teacher. It's time to look deep within and see where that block is coming from. You gotta let it go. We, none of us know everything. I've got names for you. We all have our issues in this life. Oh yes we do, trust me. Well, there are mentors and teachers for all of us. We all need a guide. We all need a mentor upon this life, upon this path to ascension, this quest for life. Sometimes you can follow somebody and learn from them to realize that they were teaching you wrong. Everything that they were teaching was to confuse your mind and to elicit responses from you that gratified their own selfish needs. You need to let those people go and let those limiting beliefs go and realize who you truly are. A truly beautiful child of the divine with all the answers inside of you. You don't need to look to somebody else. You can look to somebody else as a guide, but the answers you seek are right within your heart space, within that divine angelic being of light that came to earth with you on the day you were born. Mm -hmm. Just learn to tap in and use the magic of the true magician of your soul. Please learn to tap in. It is the three of pentacles, truly doing the work and establishing that good foundation with community. It's all about community. You gotta tap into the collective. You do. You need to become part of that which you serve. You absolutely do. The Son of Wands, that charismatic feature within all of us, we can all let that charisma shine at times, especially when we're truly passionate about something. Don't you think? And look, when we allow our passions to shine and we share it with the community and we allow that charisma or that fairy glamour, if you will, to shine through. The fairy glamour of stepping into who you are, your true power to show the world the true you. It brings the sun shining down, true blessings within our life. When we allow the world to see our true self, our fairy armor, if you will, our angelic being of light that lives inside of us the little one that can come forward to the forefront to guide us in all of our ways on our path. Well, they absolutely can. If you'd like to learn more, reach out to me. I'd love to show you the little one that lives within our heart space is the true magician of our soul. Oh, they are. The little one that lives inside who knows how to play and knows how to love has also been hurt to the core because they feel in fear that they've hurt you. You know, they say to heal the little one inside, but when you go to do that, please understand the little one inside that you're healing is the true magician of your soul and truly feels as though they've let you down and that they've hurt you. And it is a pain 
that they just don't want to bear. And you need to reach down deep and let them know that it's okay. That you understand that they were just trying to guide you home to the divine and they couldn't. And they watched you be beat up and they watched you be beat down. And they saw your whole spirit get destroyed and there was nothing they could do until you tap in and talk to them and understand when you do, they're just gonna come through and want to hold you. Let them know that it's okay. Heal the wounds of the past and let them try again. Let them show you the love that they know. They never meant to hurt you. They just want to love you. And when you can do that, when you can tap into the little one and allow them to show you who you truly are, all that they want you to be, it leads you to your Ten of Cups. It truly does. True happiness and true abundance as you live for the divine essence that lives within you, lives within me, lives within all life. Please allow it to ignite a passion within your heart when you feel the connection to the little one inside. Allow it to ignite a passion that will never end. Learn to make the judgment within your own life, those things that are no longer serving the best for you and your little one, for the higher good of all angelic beings of light. And know that when you tap into your little one, you will find the strength for all things that you need. You absolutely will. As you tap into the little one, that's true wisdom and all knowing, for they truly do hold the secrets of time, all the scrolls of time, secrets of the universe, tap in and allow the transformation to take place as you learn to work with the spiritual and physical aspects, the duality of who we are and allow that true wisdom and passion to come through the three of wands. Allow it just to ignite it and allow your wisdom to shine from your heart space. For when you do, true justice reigns supreme. And when true justice reigns supreme in your life, in my life, in the ethereal realm, within that collective consciousness, it ignites such a passion within the world that everybody wants to rise up to see the blessings and the rainbows within this world, the promise of a new day. Let's go ahead and get an, a moon card. Well, that's great. So our actions is tapping into our little one, learning what they're about and truly becoming the magicians of our soul. What a great reading to share what we know with each other and allow our stories to be told as we continue to tap in and share the truth of who we are. When we first woke up, the first time that we remembered who we were, the first dark night of the soul, if you will, as we share those memories and experiences, all the little ones will start to wake up because more will start to remember. As you hear a story, It'll jar that one thing inside and you'll remember that much more. It'll be great. It's a truly glorious ride when you take it with your brothers and sisters as it was meant to be. We weren't meant to do this life alone. Confidence is your key to success. Confidence in knowing who you are. Confidence in knowing you have value within this life. 
confidence in knowing that your story is unique and that we can't do it without you speaking your truth. We can't do it without you being bold and telling who you are. Please don't let your past hold you back. Hold you back. Let your past be the reason that you move forward. Let your past be the reason that you succeed. All the heartache, all the sorrow, let it be the reason for your smile as you finally see and understand the true meaning of life, all that holds true within this world. Absolutely, the seeds of destiny within you. Tap in, connect to your little one. Please tap into your little one. You'll never regret a day in your life, I promise. Get to know them. Get to know yourself all over again through the perspective of the divine. Let the heartache go. Look into who you truly are and be amazed at the little one within and the light that springs forth. Yes. All right. Me. Well, that's glorious. It is all about us. I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to and honor and, stri and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Me. You. The me generation. Do you know that's the generation I come from? I'm going to go out on the edge here and tell you a little story about what I feel about my generation. I was born in 1960. And so, you know, we were called the me generation because everything was me, 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 me. Me. All about me. And then the government said, no, honey, you can't have your own generation. You're a baby boomer. You can't be a Generation X, even though that's your fucking music and you raised your children to it. You're a baby boomer. You have to work till you're 67 and a half for retirement. But you're not allowed to have your own generation. You're not allowed to be part of the me generation. You have to be a baby boomer. And you want to know what I have to say to that? Fuck you. Me. It's all about me. The me generation. And it's all about you. Get with the program. It is all about you. The me inside. Fucking reach in. Find out who you are. And love that little one. Love that little one and make it all about you. And then open up to the universe, honey, because you are about to shine like never before. I am discovering my worth and my abilities. I have confidence in my value and my potential. I reclaim my inner power. I accept and love myself completely. Thus, I am open to the divine light of the universe. You know, I know sometimes they go crazy and my readings go on a little bit longer than maybe they should, but they really want me to pull this other card here because when we talk about me, 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 connect to the little one inside, the angelic being of light that lives within your heart space, knows all the secrets to the universe. All you need to do is learn to listen to the voice of your heart, to your angelic being of light, to the little one inside who's been loving and trying your entire life and is just so saddened by the fact that they couldn't save you and hold you and keep you from all the pain that you felt within this world. It's time to hold them and let them know you understand that it's okay. 
I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. And I want to tell you something. The song of our soul is different for everyone. We all long to connect to the divine, the divine to Soros. Oh my gosh, if you've never, ever seen the movie, um, A Walk to Remember, there's a song in my soul. Oh, it's Mandy Moore sings, My Only Hope. It is one of the most beautiful songs of all. She's dying of cancer and she's singing a song in a play. You're my own. It's the most beautiful song and the most beautiful thing to feel it in your heart, in your soul. When you can be so unapologetically and forgiving to the universe, when you're going through all the things in your life, you truly do learn to listen to the voice of your heart and you finally start to understand that the divine truly is our only hope to connect to the little one inside and live our life unapologetically as we delve deep into who we are and the mysteries of the universe. And we learn to push back the darkness and the shadows and the pains within our heart and soul and learn to shine all over again. All right, bright blessings to you always. I wish you the best in life. I truly do. I hope you have a fabulous week. Don't forget, they'll also be dailies out this week with a midweek check-in on Wednesday. All right, I love you guys. I truly do. Bright blessings to you always and namaste. Bye-bye.